Do you watch videos on YouTube of photographers who live in amazing places and take stunning photos of wonderful scenery and just outside their front door? Here you are, living in boring town, Boringsville. G'day. You know, it's just one of these strange quirks of life. <laughs> when you live in a place for a long time, you become so familiar with it that uh, you might think it's boring. And you wonder why tourists come to your town <laughs> and stay there and look around and gawk. The... What are they doing here? There's nothing here that's special. We've heard this uh, term familiarity breeds contempt <laughs> well there's some other quotes along those lines familiarity leads to boredom <laughs> and uh, when you're so familiar with a place you might get so bored with it because you've seen it so often that it's normal it's ordinary there's nothing special there in your eyes anymore Al Frank Baum said familiarity with any great thing removes our awe of it I mean, where I live, it's extremely rare to see any uh, aurora australis lights in the night sky. And then I think, wow, wouldn't it be great to live in some place where you saw that so often? You'd be out there photographing all the time. But people who live in those places, they're not out there photographing it all the time because they see it all the time. They're familiar with it. It's just ordinary part of their life. Not worth picking up a camera for is another quote along those lines. Familiarity may breed contempt, but perhaps it would be more truthful to say that familiarity breeds blindness. The more you see something, the less you see it. So maybe instead of hankering to go to far off places that you haven't seen before, that you think are amazing compared to where you live, re-look at where you live rediscover things, see them through uh, maybe new eyes. One of the exercises I do as a photographer is uh, when I think everything around me is boring and uh, I'm getting a bit down, but, uh, there's nothing around here to photograph. I challenge myself. I vary those challenges a bit. Sometimes I say, oh, okay, walk around your town over the next seven days and take photographs in your town. Okay, that's, that's good and wide ranging. <laughs> At times I say, just get in your backyard and take photographs. And then uh, the other day, I'm in a place that I'm very familiar with that other people might think is exciting. I've been volunteering at a radio station, community station for, for 16, 17 years sitting in the same studio, sort of with the same gear, looking at the same walls for 17 years. It all gets a bit familiar, which is a nice way of saying boring. <laughs> so I'm at the studio the other day and I'm thinking, being here so long, you know, pick up my camera, take photographs from where I'm sitting. I challenged myself to not even get out of my chair, but pick up the camera and take photos of things around me in a way that uh, would pique my creativity. You might be thinking, well, yeah, well, that's cheating. You're in this exotic location. Who, not many people get a chance to be in a radio station. <laughs> well, the thing is, A, it's so familiar that it becomes boring, like your maybe lounge room or your office cubicle. <laughs> and the other thing is, I didn't really cheat. I took photos of ordinary things that were sort of everywhere. Telephone, a light, a clipboard, a <laughs> coffee cup. Now, nothing out of the ordinary. I did sort of cheat once. I took a photo of the microphone because it's right there in front of me. But really, just about all the pictures I took are things that you would find in any office, sometimes any home.
challenge was to pick up the camera and take photos of what's right there around me and do it in a way that uh, made, had to make me think, use my creativity a bit. And that's my challenge to you when you're sitting there thinking, oh, this place is so boring, I wish I was somewhere else. Pick up your camera and take photos of what's right there around you and see what you can do with a bit of creativity. Then you might think, well, you're not only in this sort of exotic location, you've got top quality gear and, and camera bodies and lenses. <laughs> yeah, but I, I didn't. I had this, uh, what is it, 12 year old, I think, little bridge camera with a tiny sensor, nothing special about this. Uh, it's what I had on me. And that's what I used to take the photos. <laughs> and you might say, oh yeah, but you got top notch software to process the images in to make them look interesting. Well, yeah, but I didn't. <laughs> I put him in the Snapseed here in my little, uh, let me call this thing, tablet, and just process them in that little free app that anybody can use. So basically what I'm saying is you don't have to have special gear or a special software or be in special places to take good photos that are interesting. You just have to challenge yourself to see things in slightly different ways, to open your eyes again to the familiar and see the special in the boring. My challenge to you is pick up your camera wherever you are and see if you can take 10 photos that would be interesting. So whatever camera you got, <laughs> pick it up, point it at things around you and have some fun. <laughs> Bye.